What is going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and welcome back. There are so many different custom firmwares and so many different installation methods, and people get confused about this all the time. But guess what? There's one way that works every single time you do it, no matter what firmware you do it on. So sit back, relax, Skid School is in session. Now there are two ways of doing this. Uh, one way is removing the SD card from your flipper and plugging that directly into your computer. It's the fastest way and it can prevent some errors. However, it's kind of impractical and if you have a case like this, taking that SD card out can actually be kind of a pain. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and plug it in and use Q flipper. So got a USB-C cable, got a little light on it that you can't see because of my lighting, but it's illuminated, which means it's good. And just plug that right into the side of your flipper. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up QFlipper and show you what to do from here. All right, now that we're at the desktop, we're just gonna go ahead and open up Chrome. We've got Rogue Master's uh, GitHub right here. We're gonna go ahead and click on the latest release. And we're gonna go to the no animation. We're gonna download this without animations. And I'm gonna go ahead and just save it to my desktop, make things easier. Uh, extract this right on over here. Extract, done, and done. Then we'll just go ahead and open up QFlipper. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to point out that they do have a web installer and a tarball you can install as well. We're going to do this the zip way because, again, this is the way that works every single time the right way. So we're not going to mess around with anything. We're just going to do it the way that works every time. So from here, we'll just go ahead and open up QFlipper. You can see right now I'm running the current version of Squatchware that was just released, but for today we're gonna go ahead and open up or install Rogue Master. Navigate right to the SD card update folder, and then just drag and drop our folder that we just decompressed and click upload. It's gonna a lot of times complain about it being too large of a file size, but we really just don't care. Uh, it almost never runs into an issue, and if it does, just try it again. And we're just gonna wait. And we're done. It's that simple. Uh, so we're going to go and actually just control it from here. Uh, we're going to press the down button. We're going to press the left button. We're going to navigate to the uploads folder. Do, 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 do. Or up here. And then we're going to go to the folder that we just dropped, which was this guy. Uh, navigate down to the update file. Run an app. Press the old, uh, what's that, right button. It's going to install. And now you're no longer going to be able to see the screen because it's installing on my end, but it's going and it'll just take another second. Two very boring minutes later. All right, and we're done. So you can see that we've just installed Rogue Master and we are done. So right now it's got no animations because we didn't download any animations with it, but we're done. So that's all you have to do to install custom firmware the easy way it works every single time it works on every single firmware so skid school dismissed